For a second day, hundreds of people have been protesting in the streets of Lima over the release of Peru's former leader, Alberto Fujimori. He was serving 25 years in jail for human rights abuses, but was pardoned on Sunday on medical grounds by the current president. Shubha Krishnan reports. Gunshots, tear gas and mayhem. Protesters clashed with riot police through the streets of Peru's capital. For them, President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski has agreed to release a mass murderer, a man responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent people during his government's war against left-wing rebels in the 1990s. We are demanding Pedro Pablo Kuczynski's resignation and we want Alberto Fujimori to be sent back to jail. The announcement of Mr Fujimori's release came just days after Mr Kuczynski narrowly survived an impeachment vote in Congress. Many believe the president made a deal with the opposition to release Mr Fujimori in exchange for his political survival. Mr Kuczynski denies the allegations. This has been the most difficult decision of my life. This deals with the health and the possibilities of life of an ex-president who was found guilty of excesses and grave errors. He was sentenced and has served 12 years of punishment. We cannot allow Alberto Fujimori to die in prison. Justice is not vengeance. Mr Fujimori's son Kenji posted this video on social media, showing his father overcome with happiness when he realised he's free. But on the streets of Peru, it's a very different story, with many people angry that the former leader, convicted for human rights abuses, has been pardoned. Shubha Krishnan, BBC News.